What is up YouTube, Raider Nation 2014 here, I got another video for you guys, and today, as promised in the last gameplay, I have picked up Josh Norman at cornerback, 89 overall road to the playoffs edition, and I played with this card in draft champions, I played against this card in draft champions, this card is lit, this card is amazing, and we got the offense still the same, but the defense, the only change is that Josh Norman. So I have a couple games in this video, and you guys can see how he plays, for me or whatever, and just the game in general. Beast Mode is still on the team. What do you guys feel about this limited edition Beast Mode? Do you feel like he is worth it? What do you guys think about him? I just want to try a new running back out. I've been using Gurley forever, and I'm like, you know what? We'll use Beast Mode. Might end up selling him. I'm not sure, though. So defense, as you can see, the 89 road to the playoffs, Josh Norman rocking that number one with Barber and Jimmy Smith. We're looking to get that 90 Pat Pete from draft champions, so our corners are going to be completely stacked by that point. Now, my opponent has got Gurley. I did not check his lineup before the game. I apologize. But we get the picker with Jimmy Ward, and Jimmy Ward is a nice safety. Like I said, man coverage, when I'm running those blitzes, it's nice to have a safety you can play some man coverage. Hit the flats right here to Marcel Reese. I'd like that MVP, Marcel. It's just... You know, ain't worth the 200 something K he goes for. Maybe when his price goes down, we will pick him up for sure. First and 10, Derek Carr dropping back. And who's he going to find? You know, his favorite target as of late, Amari Cooper, for a nice gain right there. We got a second and one. You know, if you got one yard to get, you got to give it to Beast Mode. He will get you that one yard. There is no you know, doubt in my mind that Beast Mode will do that for you. My favorite weapon on offense sometimes is just that out of the flats kind of running play, running back. Um, swing route or whatever because it seems like a lot of times your opponent send a blitz and they don't even account for it which is nice because you can turn that into a first down no problem throwing it over here on the wheel route just gets wide open burns jimmy smith badly right there and you know the colors are changing and we haven't done this in a while but you know what that means debut game for josh norman and josh norman gets the interception right here beautiful play not really you know a crazy athletic interception he literally had a step or two on him the entire route and my opponent still decided you know let's test josh norman let's test one of the best cornerbacks in the nfl right now no it's not gonna happen he only has 89 man we were running man right there but that press really got him that positioning and i shaded inside so for sure we're gonna get that pick running up the gut with beast mode that's gonna bring up a third and short no it's a first and ten he got the first down just barely though getting our feet down with djx djx is nice man i gotta get you some more djx gameplay i played a lot with him and he is really good he is not going anywhere don't you know i mean don't you worry he will be here for a long time to come and we're passing out the flats here to marcel reese trying to get in that end zone we were close four yards away but my opponent is not gonna let me finish the game he is gonna quit and that'll end the first game. And Josh Norman did have a pick in his debut game. So that is something nice to see. Heading into the second game, we did check out my opponent's roster. He's got the new Marshall Fogg, which is crazy. He's got a pretty decent line, all elites. Barwin, Donald. His team, he's got some holes. But for sure, he's got some good players as well. A lot of budget ballers. A lot of Schefter stars. Crockett and Gil Crockett Gilmore. You know, Ha Clinton, Dix, Jimmy Ward. But the main problem here was that Marshall Falk, he was running this inside zone to the left every single play, and it was getting yards. And I'm, when I'm talking about yards, there's a big gain right there. And then the very next play, he's going to run it again, and Marshall Falk hits the hole. Marshall Falk to the outside, the 10, and the end zone. Marshall Falk with the touchdown. And man, I cannot stop the run sometimes. Sometimes I find it real difficult. That should have been intercepted. There's no two ways about that. That was a terrible throw, terrible reach. But I struggle stopping the run. And against a good running back like Marshall Falk, we had Crockett Gilmore wide open. I just look for him last. I don't know what it is. I don't like Crockett Gilmore. Help me think of a tight end in the comments section. But, you know, man, it is so hard to stop the run sometimes, especially against these really good legend running backs. Falk, Dickerson, gosh, Dickerson. I had one game where I completely shut him down, but that rarely happens. We get the sack right here. Nice little blitz. Anthony Barr gets into the backfield third and 15. Just going to play some simple man. Let him get the eight yards. We'll stop him. See if he punts. You know, it's ultimate team, though. No one punts. Fourth and eight or fourth and six. I'm not really sure. And he completes the pass right there on fourth and eight for the first down. That's demoralizing right there. Jimmy Smith gave it up, but you know, you can't expect your safety to make perfect plays on Heinz Ward. Again, Heinz Ward over Jimmy Smith making a nice catch. Heinz is a really nice receiver. We left the wheel route open right there, but the pressure came before he could find it. Second and 10, we blow up that play right there to Marshall Falk with Jimmy Ward. And oh my gosh, the colors change again. You know what's happening. It's Norman, and he played that beautifully aggressive play on the ball. And that is a pick six for you guys. The 30. Oh my god, Mariota. You're going to ruin Josh Norman's first pick six. I tried to hit a back juke. Nor he would have caught me. Don't think he wouldn't have caught me. He would have. He had the pursuit. And now we're going to get in the end zone here with Marshawn Lynch breaking a tackle into the end zone. What a love about Lynch. He breaks, tackles on his way to the end zone. He just drags people in there. And yeah, you're a beast. Let's get it going. 
7-7 game. We got to stop the run game, but he's coming out passing, throwing it deep against Barber, but, you know, the ball's out of bounds. And if it was in bounds, Barber would have stopped it. And again with the run play. We did not see it coming, so he's going to check us with it. You know, you got to know my inside zone's right there. You know, you got to know it's there. I run a lot of inside zone. I'm not going to bash on people for running inside zone. It's not impossible to stop. So, you know, we'll try and contain it. I run it all the time, so I'm definitely not going to talk crap about it because I do it so much. It's unbelievable. Second and 17 after the sack, he's going to run the ball right here, and we get a nice little handle on it. You know, stop it for a gain of five. Not bad. Third and 11, going to play some man. And, you know, he sets the screen up, and we get the nice tackle of Levante David. That is why he is there. He's got 98 tackling. And, you know, we got a couple seconds, 36 seconds. Try and make something happen before the half. We got a long way, and we only got two timeouts. And why are we running the ball? Well, that's why, because he's beast mode. And we can call a timeout and, you know, set up another play. That's what we got to do out here. Second and five. We're dropping back here. Got six seconds. We got to go deep. Going deep. And look at Deshaun Jackson on down the sidelines. Out of bounds. And that will set us up for a field goal. I can't talk today, but we could have had a touchdown. He just, the momentum sent him out of bounds. I can understand running full sprint down the sidelines on that, you know, deep post route. Crazy play right there. Those post routes are really good if you can get them set up. Your line will hold up. And right there we show it. Deshaun Jackson with the first town. The field goal range play giving us a one possession lead before the half and we get the ball to half. Nasty spin move by Gurley. Man, this team is playing real nice, coming together real nice. Second and 10, we are dropping back and that's just overthrown by Derek Carr. He got hit as he threw, I can understand that one. Third and 10, we gotta make a play. We got no one open. We are just trying to find someone desperately and look at Amari Cooper on the middle of the field and he gets it. We possession catch. We are not dropping that ball. We are not going to drop it. Hand it off to Beast Mode and, and he breaks tackles. That's just what Beast Mode does. He gets to the end zone. He finds it. That's something he's very good at that, you know, Gurley sometimes will get stuffed at the one. That was almost another pick for um, Norman right there. Don't test Norman. Norman is too good out here. I have used him so much and I'm like, I got to get him in mud. He is that good. And so two picks in two games. You know, we're going to see if we can get him another one as we get the big hit right there with Mario Edwards Jr. Bringing up a 4th and 13. He's got to go long. Hail Mary trips. We got the man covered. We got Norman over there. You are not going to catch on Norman. Don't even try. And that is the game for you guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Norman gameplay, Ultimate Team gameplay, franchise gameplay, and other types of games. Again, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.